Hi everyone. Today I've been, uh, I've decided to finally decorate the front cover of my Hobonichi cousin. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I was thinking, I've already kind of masked off like the width of my book. Um, but anyway, what I was thinking of doing is using this masking fluid to draw Mandela and then watercolor and then pull off the masking fluid. We'll see how that works to make a watercolor Mandela in like different colors. That's my thought anyway. So I'm hoping it works out. So I'm trying to just mark off the area that I'm going to need. I'll erase those lines later. Oh, it would help if my pencil, pencil lead was actually out, right? Okay, so this is just rough. I'll cut it more accurately or precisely later. Really, is that precise? Okay, it looks weird because this masking part, I'm not gonna cover, I'm just gonna go to here. So, so yes, the plan is to draw a Mandela with my masking fluid and we'll see how that goes. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. So how does this work? And this is just fine line masking fluid. I think I got it on Amazon. I've had it for a while because I've been wanting to do this. Oh yeah, here it goes. I've been wanting to do this and I just haven't. For some reason, I'm probably, I don't know why. It's not like I have more paper. It's not like I should be afraid to try it. I just want to make sure this doesn't blob out. How does this work? I'll put it on a little napkin here. Okay. All right. I just wanted to see how it came out. So, man, this looks awfully long, doesn't it? That's the size. So, if I want to start my Mandela, if I wanted to be like, well, I'll just start right here in the middle. Should I put like 2022 20, on top? 2022, 20, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see, 2021? Yes, that's the date. I just don't know. How I want to do this. This is just Canson mixed media watercolor. Mixed media paper, not watercolor. Mixed media. I don't want to get the watercolor because I know that's thicker and I don't want my cover to be too thick. So let's see if I can write 2021 with this masking fluid. Okay. like I'm concentrating too much. Oh, there was a bubble. Oh no. There's a two. I feel like the front of the two is not very thick. Well, Man, this is not going to be pretty. I can tell already. Well, if it doesn't work out, I can decorate it with something else. And I have to read the instructions to see how long it takes for this to dry. Is it clogged? It's not coming out. It can be clogged already, right? Oh, I'm afraid it's going to spurt out. There it goes. Come on. It's not coming out. I've had this a really long time, so maybe it 
did it dry up on me? Okay, let's try it again. Oh no, there's a big old glob. Let's see if I can spread it out somehow. Come on. Maybe I should go get a new one of these because I ordered it on Amazon, but I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. It's probably at Michael's and Joanne's too. Why is this giving me such a difficult time? It doesn't want me to decorate my weeks. Not my weeks, my home Chi. Is this the cousin? Maybe if I put this lid thing back in. Okay, I'm back. Um, there was some huge clogs in my glue, so we'll see. I think I've got it cleaned out. Now it seems really runny. I wonder if that's how it was supposed to be from the beginning, and I just didn't see it because of all those clogs in there. And it's not the product's fault because I've had this for a number of years, and I've wanted to try this for a number of years, and I just hadn't. So my 2021 looks wonky, but oh well, we're just going to go with it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do, I'm so nervous, I don't want to mess it up because I don't want to do this again. I've been messing with this bottle for a while now, and I'm probably going to cut that out. I had a clog in it, in case I do cut everything out. I had a clog in it, and I had to clean it out so I could... do this there was a clog right at the you know at the tip of the needle here and I had a heck of a time clearing it out all right let's see if I can do this without messing up am I in frame I think I am without messing up the whole thing already different sizes but you know what we're just gonna go with it because that's how I roll it is what it is so cleaning it out I got glue all over myself and I almost popped off one of these nails they're all gunky because well I think essentially this masking fluid is just glue that dries up and I think once it's dry it turns like a darker color like the first part of 2021 here. Okay, I have to try and do this without messing up the 2021 part. Oh, I think this is going to be weird because they're not evenly spaced. You know what? I have so many issues today with this glue. I'm just going to run with it. It is what it is. And I might even cut all this or speed this up. So nobody's probably hearing my rant. All right. This is not very round. By round, I mean not a perfect circle. So it's going to be a wonky Mandela. It's kind of squarish, actually. Okay, in my head, this looked better. I could put some dots right here. Let's just hope it looks better after I watercolor. Okay, so... The way this is supposed to work, when I watercolor, everything is supposed to get the watercolor in, except for this. I kind of feel like it's tie-dyeing paper. All right, let's do this next section here. Yes, this is such a wonky mandala. But, like I said, we're just going to run with it. Yeah, I feel like it's tie-dyeing on paper, because, you know, you... Um, when you tie-dye, you use those rubber bands so the bleach, I mean, the dye doesn't get on it. No. Yes. Yes. So the dye doesn't get on it. I was going to say bleach, but no. So the, the 
tie dye. The dye doesn't get on it. And so it's kind of like the same thing, I think. It's just masking fluid instead of the rubber bands. So then I'm gonna watercolor over this whole sheet and then pull off the masking fluid. And I should be left with the design in negative, in the negative. Okay, so, yes, this is kind of, you know, mandalas are supposed to be round. This is a, a squarish one because we like to be different on this channel. Who wants a square mandala when you can have a squarish one? I feel like my petals are getting smaller. Now I feel like there. So after this, I think I'm just going to try and draw some more petals up here. Different kinds. And then when I'm done with this, I should be able to just let it dry. I don't know how long, because I think this part is ready. When it changes color, I'm thinking that's when it's... I should have done more research. But I think when it changes color, it's, it's okay to watercolor. It's dry enough. And it's super hot today, so... That shouldn't take too long. I should probably sit it outside. No, if I sit it outside, it'll get dust all over it. That's a bad idea. Maybe I'll put it in the sun in the window so it can dry. It works much better when it's not clogged. See how bumpy it was over there? I mean, not that it's great here, but... And that's just my technique, not the product itself. I hope it turns out okay because I really want to use this for the front of my Hobonichi. It's been naked for too long. Right now, I think I'm going to put a little dot in between each of them. My paper's buckling a little. I didn't expect it to do that with the glue. I knew I had probably had to tape it down when I did the watercoloring part, but the glue? I didn't realize it was going to have that effect. Okay, what else? I think I want to put a dot in between these two. I just feel like the more design there is, the better it'll look once I have all that watercolor on here. And I have to figure out what color I want to do it to. Okay, so I think it's dry enough and I'm just going to use my kneaded eraser so I keep it in this little guy that I got from it's one of those wax those braces wax teeth wax that my kids got at the ortho and I just put a little piece of kneaded eraser and keep it in here in my travel pouch or my pencil pouch and that way I always have a kneaded eraser ready to go so I'm just going to erase the pencil marks I had made so I don't have any of that under my watercolor. It shouldn't be in the area that I need anyway, but just in case I want to get those off. So am I recording? Yes, I am. This last time I stopped it and then I never turned it back on. Silly me. Okay. So 
that's erased. Now I want to cut it down so I can mask it so it doesn't curl up when I'm trying to watercolor it. Let's see, where is my cutter? Over here. So I spent some time looking for my cutter too because it wasn't where I keep it and I looked all over the place. I don't remember moving it and that's because I didn't. It, oops, well, everything's rolling off. It was actually in my daughter's room, which I don't care if she uses my stuff. I to I've told her before, she can anything she wants to use, she can use. But I would like to be able to find it when I need it to make sure I don't cut off too much. Let's see, that should be enough. All right. There it is. And this guy's head falling off. So now I need to mask this down. I need to get some washi tape. I need to tape this down so it doesn't go anywhere when I'm watercoloring. Let's see. Here's good. Oops. So I'm not the best at doing stuff with my nails when I have nails, unless they grow on me gradually. Like I can't have artificial nails from one day to the next because I can't do anything. I feel like they're in my way. I guess you, I have to get used to them gradually. If they're my own nails and they grow, then it's a lot better. Obviously, I'm sure that's like that for everybody. You just can't have long nails from one day to the next and be as agile. <laughs> Finger agility. Okay, so now I'm going to spray it. This is just a sprayer that I got at, I think I got it at Michael's. It's a mini mister. I don't know why I'm shaking it. Where's the hole? Right here. All right, so I'm going to mist it so it's wet. And then I'm going to use my watercolors. Now, I don't know what color I want to start with. I think I want to start with maybe, actually, do I want to use this big brush? Is this too big? Yes, I want to use it. So, mm -mm, what colors do I want? I think I want to use this one. And I want to put, actually, I'm, I should probably just collect some paint right here. You know what I need? A clean water container. I want a good amount. Okay, I want yellow. Do I want this yellow? Yes, I want this warmish. I don't remember what color it is. I think it's, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the one that's with the G, Gamboge. I don't remember. It's pretty though. It's like a nice warm yellow. And then the blue that I want to use, what blue do I want to use? I think, I think, I think, oh, which blue do I want to use? I think I want to use, this is pretty here. Oh, do I want to use this one or this one? I think I want to use 
I can't make up my mind. Which one will mix better with the red to make a beautiful purple? I don't know, maybe I should try it, right? All right, let me see. There's a little bit of red. And then I'll put some over here and over here. And then I'll mix it with these blues. This one's this one, and it mixes to that. Or more, okay. This blue mixes to that. Oh, I think I want the first one. Let's see this one. This one's a lot like the second one. This one mixes. Oh, that's a beautiful purple too. I think I'm going to go with the first one though because it's a little brighter. And I think that's the look I'm going for, just a brighter blue. Okay, I'm going with that one. Okay, where's the hole? I don't wanna miss myself. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens here. It's some red. And I really just want to just put it around over here. Okay, and now I want to add the yellow. Here. And that'll make a little darkish orange when they mix. Clean this off a little. I feel like I've got too much in there. I do want to get it in all the little crevices here. Oh, I want to get it into the dirty one. Am I in frame? I hope I am. Yes, I am. Okay, and then I want to put the blue somewhere. Over. Ooh, that's bright. But still, the blue and have it mixed here to the yellow and turn into a more greenish color. Oh, I like that. And I'm not being precise, obviously, you can see that. I hope it looks pretty once it's done. Oh, I need some more, do I need some more red? Oh, I don't know. I need some more blue and red, but I think I need more like wet red right here that can mix with the blue. I feel like I have a lot of blue section over here. Maybe I should mix it. No, I don't want to mix it on the palette itself. Oops, that was supposed to be my clean water. Oh, like, it's a little streaky over here. Oh, that's okay. Do I want redder? Okay, so I think, I think it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. Should I take some of this color off? No, because I don't want it to be too light. I want that 
to stand out. edges here. All right, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll see what happens. I like it. All right, I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, I'm back. I helped the drying process along with my blow dryer and I'm not sure if that was a great idea or not because it may have done something to the masking tape. It didn't like reactivate it somehow. All right, should I try a little piece? Let's see. How do you remove the masking tape? Oh, there it goes. I think I'm gonna end up with a big masking tape booger. Let's see, let's start with the one and see how that worked. Oh, I like it. I mean, the shape of the one is not the greatest, but that, that was my deal. That was my issue, not the watercolor. It just rubs off. I don't know what I was expecting. Whoops. All right, so I'm gonna end up with a big old masking tape booger. That's okay. Oh, I like it. Let's see the two, the first two. I can see the 2021, I think it looks okay. It's gonna look okay on my book, I think. That, that's pretty. I mean, it could be better. The design could be better, but I like the effect it created. Is there more in there? No. I like how easy this kind of rubs off. I don't know if this is the proper way to do it, but you know what? It's working for me. I thought I was going to pick it off, but I think this rubbing method is working good for me not destroying the picture and it's coming off so now that it's all buckly though I wonder how I can smooth that out on my bonichi I wonder if I can dampen the back of it I think I saw Yes, James Burke did that in one of his videos, but it was on a Hobonichi page, but I'm sure that's the same, same thing would happen with this, right? Like he wet the back of his page and then kind of laid it flat. So I bet if I, well, I shouldn't bet. I shouldn't say I bet. I'm guessing, I'm hoping that if I miss the back of it, I can straighten it out a little bit. I really like this. All right, so I think that's all of it. There's some boogies somewhere. I can feel them. Masking tape fluid boogies. All right. I like it. That's pretty. Well, I think anyway. Oh, let me remove this masking tape. All right. So. All right. I think if I missed it and do that, like I said, I was, I was going to do it all work. So I'm going to spray this a little and then hold this on 
top of it for a little bit just to see if I can get it to straighten out. I wonder if I should dry it straight. Can I do that, you think? Maybe. I don't want to mess up the other side, though. Is it messing up? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, if I just hold it with some pressure. You know what it is? It's straighter. Because it's not too wet. It's not taking too long to dry, either. And let me just clean up the overspray. I think that's going to be good. Okay, then I need to cut it. Just help it along just a little bit. I need to cut it to the size of my Hobonichi. I'm excited about this. Let's see. Okay, first I'm going to, I'm going to cut first. I'm nervous because once I cut it, there's no going back, right? So I'll cut the top first. Where do I want to cut the top? 2021. Is that even straight? Ah, it's pretty straight. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut it towards the top a little bit. Okay, there's my first cut. And now I need to figure out where to cut it to. All right. This is my tumbo. Okay, so if I do this, I just butt it up to the very edge here. Make sure it's straight. Sorry if I'm covering you. I'm just trying to butt it up to the edge on the inside. And then I'll just draw a line right here to where it needs to go. And that should give me what I need. I hope. So... Oh, you know what I need? I need to get one of those. I need to get one of those cutters that have the light underneath so I can see exactly where the line is. I'm just doing this to try and line up the cut line here. Where is it? Here to here. So that should be right there. Let's hope that's right. Okay, and now let's see, it's going to be. So I think I need to just go as far over as I can here. That looks about right. Sorry, the bottom is not in frame here. Just trying to get to the very edge of the color here. Oh, I did pretty good. Like I only cut off just a little bit right there. I'm not sure if this is straight, but this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, and now here, how am I gonna mark this? Let's see. Where is the edge? Right here. And then on the other side. Okay, I'm back. It got a little noisy in my neighborhood, so I had to stop for a little bit. So I did cut this out, and it's not as centered as I would have liked it to be, but <laughs> by that, I mean not at all. 
there's clearly more room over here than there is over here. Okay, so now I think I want to use, I was going to try and use a glue stick, but I don't know that that'll hold. I'm wondering if I should do the glue stick like in the middle portion and just do the edges with this. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I guess if it doesn't work, I can always glue it again, right? Should I put the glue on the paper, on the opening sheet, or on the paper? Uh, I'm going to put it on the Hobonichi. All right, here goes nothing. And hopefully it'll be smooth enough. Okay, and put that on there. And then I'm going to use this glue. Oh, no. I took off the this part. That was a bad move. Let's see if I can use this glue for the edges. Okay, nothing is working for me. I haven't used this glue in a while either, so apparently it has decided to clog as well. Wow. All right, it's just not my day with glues today. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use a glue stick. I should take care of my stuff better. Well, I should just use it more. The problem is I haven't been using. I don't know if you don't use it, it dries up. So I'm going to use the glue stick. The issue I have with the glue stick is the edges. Well, and then sometimes it just doesn't work as well as other glues, you know? All right, so. Move this out of the way. 2022, no, 2022, 2021. Here we go. I think I'm on the edge. Am I? Yay! It's on there. And I, I did pretty... Okay, there's a little bit of space right there. You know what? I'm going to be happy about this. I like it. I was happy with the result. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? I think it's pretty. So because I've been trying to condense what I bring to work, I've been actually been using the, um, I've been using the Midori cover for my Hobonichi and a little, I saw What's her name? Emily from Emily Lou Arts just put a, oops, sorry, I moved the camera, which is my phone. She's been using just a jelly, uh, what is it, jelly? Is it just called jelly? I don't know. Jelly roll? No, I think it's just jelly. A jelly, piece of jelly, plastic, what is this called? I don't know a piece of this and just tucking it in her notebook and that way it looks like it's a jelly cover. So I've been doing that, but I don't know if I want to do that. I think I might just want to leave it just with, do I want this on top or do I just want to see it like this? I think I just, I think I'll just see it like, leave it like that for a while. Okay. So I've been using this because it just is smaller than using the Hobonichi cover which I still love, but if I'm just gonna travel somewhere, well, really, I always take the other one. I take this to work because it's just less bulky and I don't have to carry. I'm trying to not carry as much to work because you know how we do it sometimes. We just take too much and I do have that problem. So I'm trying to keep it smaller. Okay, I'm done. This is my end result and I'm super happy with it. I love the colors. I love the way the colors combined right here. So I did that, you know, this didn't combine. I mean, it did a little bit of purple right here, but mostly it's red, blue, bit of purple and the yellow and combined to do a more an orangish and the yellow and blue combined to do the screen. I really like it. I'm happy with it. And I do like this masking tape technique. So what I used was this fine line masking fluid pen, super nib, fine tip, and I'll link it below. I, 
I know I got it on Amazon, so I know I can link it. And the mister I used was the mini mister. The watercolors I used were um, Daniel Smith. And I don't remember the names of the colors, but anyway, um, just any red, blue, and yellow will do this effect. And I just used a regular old glue stick because I had let this dry out. This dried out on me uh, too, but I've had this for years and I just never used it. So you can't blame the product. It's just me that I didn't use it. Same with the glue. I love this glue. This is the best glue ever. Art glitter. Just use it. Don't let it dry up on you. So anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. I'm super excited with how this turned out. I could have done a better job making this a circle, but you know, whatever. I'm happy with it. It, it makes it a little bit more unique. Anybody can have a round mandela, right? Like a little squarish one is a little just different. It's a little quirky like me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Hope you have a great day, everybody. Bye.